Oh, what's up, guys? Steve here, Roadworthy Revivals. Uh, I just want to do a little uh, walk around here the Impala after getting her all cleaned up. Um, and welcome, first off, to all the new subscribers and people that have been watching the uh, barn find video where I pulled this 20,000 original mile Impala out of a barn just recently. Uh, the car is going up for sale on bringatrailer.com. And... Um, this video is going to show you um, in greater detail how the car looks inside and out. So enjoy. All right. So, of course, it's a little wet. It's been raining all day here. But you can see the uh, chrome up front here is in pretty decent shape. So there's a little pitting and, and, and a couple little rust marks on it there. Uh, grill is excellent, uh, as, as are these headlight bezels. Um, up here on the nose of the car, you can see uh, a little bit of primer showing through there. Uh, it had quite a few rock trips across the front here that I, uh, I touched up when I uh, repainted this fender. This fender had been previously repainted at some point in this car's life for some reason and paint was flaking off and looked pretty bad. So I got the color scanned and took her right down to bare metal and we got a pretty decent match out of that. I'm quite happy with how that turned out. And uh, yeah, on the hood here, you can see right there and over there mainly, there's uh, some imperfections in the paint there. Someone's sprayed some other color on there to, to cover up some rock chips or something at some point, not exactly sure. But coming down the driver's side of the car, uh, she is nice and straight all the way down. I don't think there's a single dent in it. Um, the paint job is not, is not perfect. It is all original from here back. Um, it did have uh, some molding on it and some glue on there, which I had to use one of those uh, fancy 3M eraser wheels to get off. Um, I put a couple uh, newer tires on there. Uh, the back two tires had separated from sitting so long. Um, you see here at the back, also a little primer coming through on that corner. Um, take a look down the side of the car here to see how straight the thing is. Uh, rear bumper is in real good shape. Uh, again, a tiny little bit of pitting here and there on it uh, but no dents or anything i see she's got the original dealership badge from wolf vancouver i have the paperwork to match that in the glove box that shows that the car was being sent straight from the dealer to the pne where uh they're a fairground in vancouver bc where the they give away a car every year and this car was given away back in the 70s um trunks uh really good uh there are some kind of imperfections in the paint you can see it a little better when it's dry um but she did she did polish up quite nice uh badge looks good back here uh there's just a little leftover polish in there uh tail lights there's no cracks or anything in those uh again a little primer showing through here i guess i just didn't get the paint on real thick uh, this side of the car also just dead nuts straight um let's see yeah i ended up pulling off this piece of trim here it was just bent here actually there's just a slight a slight scrape here you can just barely feel that just hint of a dent they must have just barely rubbed up against something i think that's the only damage on the whole car uh you know on the door here there's a little couple little paint chips here um this fender's in great shape as well. A few little paint chips in it that I, uh, I touched up as well. Uh, not a single rock chip in the glass. Um, glass all around is in great shape. Let's have a look inside the car. Uh, passenger door panel, great shape other than a couple little chew marks here from the, I believe a marmot that had moved on into this thing while it was in the barn. Um, 
carpets are in really good shape. Uh, I did go through here with the carpet shampooer and cleaned everything as best I could. Um, the seat is quite clean. You know, there's still a little bit of kind of staining on here. There's some kind of damage right there from something. And, uh, and here, possibly from another marmot chewed on it or something. But, uh, you know, a little more... A little more scrubbing. These will probably come out just perfect. Uh, the dash, the wood paneling over here is all in great shape. Other than up there by the speaker grill, there's just a little bit of cracking forming, but all in all, not too bad. Uh, let's see. Camera worked for me. Back seat. Uh, no rips or tears in this one. Uh, there's still a little bit more of this white kind of dust on there. Been working it over with the shampooer, but I believe with a little more scrubbing, that'll come all the way perfectly clean. Um, no other real damage to speak of. Everything's in real good shape back here. I don't think uh, they had many passengers in the car and it's short time that it was actually on the road. Uh, roof liner, again, just mint, perfect condition. Uh, visors, all that. Maybe we'll walk around the other side of the car there. Get a look at the driver's side door panel for you. Come on, camera work for me. There we go. Uh, yeah, this one, really good shape. The marmot didn't get to it. You know, there's some slight discoloration in there and stuff that a pro detailer could probably get rid of. Um, you know, no real rust anywhere in the car, like right down rocker panels, door jams, floors, like everything is, is just perfect. I had this car up on a the lift. There's no rust underneath either. Get a look there at the, uh, the dash, original miles, 20,565. I do believe that is miles, as the miles are larger than the kilometers on the speedometer there. Um, so maybe let's pop the hood. I'll show you what that looks like too. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, she's all original under here. Nothing's been touched at all. Uh, factory paint on the motor. Um, up here we have this original or last oil change sticker from 1985 at 17,029 miles right there. Uh, it's a good indicator that the uh, low mileage is correct. And uh, I have no reason to doubt the... Uh, the seller's story, everything lines up on the paperwork uh, with the history of the car, so there's there's really no need to doubt that, though um, I can get a Carfax and uh, verify the low mileage if uh, whoever's buying this car wants that information. I have no problem doing that. So maybe let's move on to the trunk. Uh, trunk key still works. There you go. So we got the original trunk mat here. All the uh, side trim pieces are there. Um, you know, no rot, no rust anywhere down the side here. Um, underneath, all completely solid. Not even a hint of rust on this car. Um, we got this older spare tire in here and the uh, plates from 1991 from the last time the car was uh, regularly driven. Um, there is, let me see, I did remember there's this one little spot, where is it, uh, right there, there it is, um, just a paint, chip in the paint that sort of rusted a little bit. Um, Someone was looking at that, telling me that's sort of where they led the things together on the assembly line. 
Um, nothing to really be concerned about. That's probably about the worst little spot on the whole car. So, so yeah, I guess that's going to conclude this uh, video of the car. Uh, I'm currently listing it right now on eBay. This video should be on there as part of that sale. Uh, I just heard back from Bring a Trailer and they declined listing the car for some reason. Maybe my pictures weren't good enough. Um, so I guess they don't know what they're missing. But if you want to buy this car, it uh, will be on eBay soon. Um, and thank you all very much for watching the video and subscribing and liking and all your uh, wonderful comments. Until next time.